Call cues help to direct callers to people in your organization who can help them with an issue or question. Calls are distributed one at a time to the people in the queue. There are a few steps before we create the queue itself. First, we'll create a team for the people, known as agents, who will answer calls from this queue. In Teams, select Join or Create a Team at the bottom of the Teams list. Select Create Team. Choose From Scratch. Choose Private. Type a name for the team. We'll call this one Contoso Sales. Select Create. Type the names of the people that you want to have in your call queue. And then select Add. Select Close. Next, we'll add a channel to use with the call queue. Find the new team in the Teams list and select More Options. Select Add Channel. Type a name. We'll call this one Sales Call Queue. And then select Add. Each call queue requires a resource account. We'll create one in the Teams Admin Center. Expand org-wide settings and then select Resource Accounts. Select Add. In the Add Resource Account pane, type a display name. Agents will see this name when they receive an incoming call from the queue. Type a username and choose Call Queue for the resource account type. Select Save. To use the resource account with a call queue, we have to assign it a Microsoft 365 Phone System Virtual User License. In the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, in the Active Users list, find the account you just created. Click the account name. On the Licenses and Apps tab, under Licenses, Select Microsoft 365 Phone System Virtual User. Select Save Changes and then close the panel. Now that we've set up the resource account, we can create the call queue. In the Teams Admin Center, expand Voice and select Call Queues. Select Add. Type a name for the call queue. We'll call this one Contoso Sales Call Queue. Select Add. Search for the resource account that you created. Select Add. And then select Add again. Next, choose a language. This language will be used for system-generated voice prompts and voicemail transcriptions. Next, we'll connect the queue to the Teams channel we created. Select Add a Channel. Type the name of the team that you created, select it, and select Add. Select the channel that you created for the queue. Select Apply. Turn Conference Mode on. Choose Serial Routing. This rings each call agent one by one. Turn Presence-Based Routing on. This routes calls to agents whose present status is available. Choose if you want to allow agents to opt out of calls. Set an agent alert time to specify how long an agent's phone will ring before the queue redirects the call to the next agent. We'll leave it at 30 seconds. Set the maximum calls in the queue. Choose what you want to do when the maximum number of calls is reached. We'll redirect them to the voicemail box on the team that we created. Choose Redirect To, and then choose Voicemail. Search for and choose the team. Turn Transcription on. Choose Type in a greeting message, and type a message. Next, set the maximum wait time. 
Choose what you want to happen when calls have been waiting in the queue for too long. We'll redirect them to the voicemail here as well. Choose Redirect To, and then choose Voicemail. Search for and choose the team that you created. Turn Transcription on. Choose Type in a greeting message and type a message. Select Save. The call queue is now ready to use. Next, create an auto attendant or use an existing one to direct callers to the queue. Auto attendants let people call your organization and choose different options to speak to the right department, call queue, person, or an operator. Each auto attendant requires a resource account. We'll create one in the Teams Admin Center. Expand org-wide settings and then select Resource Accounts. Select Add. Type a name. We'll call this one Contoso Main Line. Type a username and choose Auto Attendant for the resource account type. Select Save. To use the resource account with an auto attendant, we have to assign it a Microsoft 365 Phone System Virtual User License. In the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, in the Active Users list, find the account you just created. Click the account name. On the Licenses and Apps tab, under Licenses, select Microsoft 365 Phone System Virtual User. Select Save Changes and then close the panel. Next, we need to assign a phone number to the resource account so people can call the auto attendant. In the Teams Admin Center, on the Resource Accounts page, select the resource account you created and then select Assign Unassign. In the Phone Number Type drop-down, choose the type of number that you want to use. In the Assigned Phone Number box, search for the number you want to use, starting with the country code, select it in the list, and then select Add. Select Save. Now that we've set up the resource account, we can create the auto attendant. Expand Voice and select Auto Attendants. Select Add. Type a name for the auto attendant. We'll call this one Contoso Main Line. If you want to designate an operator, choose how you want calls to the operator to be routed. We'll choose a person in the organization. Specify the time zone for this auto attendant. The time zone is used for calculating business hours if you create a separate call flow for after hours. Specify a language for this auto attendant. This is the language that will be used for system-generated voice prompts. Choose if you want to enable voice inputs so callers can say menu options instead of pressing a key. Select Next. Choose if you want to play a greeting when the auto attendant answers a call. We'll say, thanks for calling Contoso, before we play the menu options. Next, choose Play Menu Options, and then choose Type in a greeting message. We'll tell callers that they can press 1 for sales, 2 for support, or 0 to talk to the operator. Since we'll be using Dial by Name for the directory, we'll also tell them that they can dial the name of the person they want to reach. Next, we'll set up the dial keys to route callers to our call queues or the operator. Click Assign a Dial Key to configure each key that you want to use. We'll assign the zero key to the operator that we configured earlier. We'll assign the one key to sales by redirecting to a voice app and then searching for and choosing the sales call queue team. We'll assign the two key to support by redirecting to a voice app 
and then searching for and choosing the Support Call Queue team. Next, we'll type in voice prompts for the sales and support queues so callers can say those options if they want. We'll leave directory search set to dial by name so callers can spell the name of the person they want to reach on their telephone keypad. Select Next. By default, business hours are set to 24 hours per day, 7 days per week. We'll update these for Contoso. First, clear the current settings by selecting Clear All Hours. Next, for Monday, we'll select a start time of 9 a.m., and an end time of 5 p.m. We'll set the same times for Tuesday through Friday. For Saturday, we'll set two time periods, leaving a lunch break between noon and 1 p.m. The after-hours call flow will run during this time. For the after-hours call flow, choose Type in a greeting message and type the message you want callers to hear after business hours. We'll ask callers to leave a message. We'll choose to redirect the call to voicemail and choose the team where we want the voicemail to be sent. We'll turn transcription on so we get a transcript of each voicemail, and then select Next. You can have calls to your auto attendant routed differently on any of the holidays you set up in Teams. Select Add, type a name for the holiday setting, and then choose the holiday from the list. Choose Type in a Greeting Message and then type the message you want callers to hear on this holiday. We'll ask callers to leave a message. We'll choose to redirect the call to voicemail and choose the team where we want the voicemail to be sent. We'll turn Transcription on here as well and then select Save. You can add up to 20 holidays. When you're finished, Select Next. You can specify who is available in your company directory when a caller uses Dial by Name or Dial by Extension. To include a certain group in the directory, under Include, select Custom User Group. Search for and select the group that you want to include. To exclude a certain group in the directory, under Exclude, select Custom User Group. Search for and select the group that you want to exclude. Select Next. Auto attendants require at least one resource account. We'll add the one we created earlier. Select Add. Search for and select the account that you created earlier, and then select Add. Select Add. Select Submit. This completes the setup process. The auto attendant will now answer the number that you chose.